Singapore's maximum capacity filled 737-200 was supposed to carry weekend passengers from Karachi, Pakistan's largest city, to the country's capital, Islamabad. Instead, the aging aircraft crashed. We're on our way to Peshawar to try to cover this terror attack on this army-run school, which has resulted in over 130 deaths, uh, most of them school kids. Foreign funding and military presence have bolstered the Afghan economy for more than a decade. Just three days before elections, candidate Imran Khan has survived a dangerous and potentially devastating fall at one of his last rallies just as Pakistanis head to the polls. A controversial man returns to a controversial country at a controversial time. The former Pakistani military ruler, General Pervez Musharraf. The swimming pool business in Kabul is rapidly growing into a multi-million dollar industry. The American president uh, was seeing the $33 billion, which he claims the Pakistanis have received as aid, as a transaction for services rendered but never received. Well, for more on this story, I'm joined now by NBC's Waj Khan. Uh, good morning, Waj. Uh, you were in Islamabad uh, yesterday. What, uh, what did you see there when you were there? Good morning, Bell. Well, uh, Islamabad was uh, bracing for impact just around the time uh, this uh, judgment uh, was coming through. Pakistani channels, uh, most of them do not air in India. That ends up basically creating two very different vacuums. Pakistanis and Indians are consuming uh, different news about the same events. So it's unfortunately driving a serious wedge between the two countries. Let's get in a voice from the other side of the line of control, Vajahat Khan. General, um, thank you for interacting with uh, me. I think perhaps this might be the first time that a Pakistani journalist has been given this opportunity. There was a joke cracked when I came here earlier today uh, by uh, one of the editors of uh, the India Today that try not to create an international incident. And then she sort of uh, took the joke a little forward and said, might as well create an international incident. <laughs> A Pakistani, Wajad Khan, who's a distinguished journalist from Pakistan, has been an anchor of major television networks in Afghanistan. He's a print journalist. Pakistan, not oh, Pakistan. I'm excuse me. Pakistan. Pakistan. I wish I was in Afghanistan. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, so I'm very excited. First time in China, loving it, going to eat nothing but duck for the next four days. <laughs> what happens in Waziristan stays in Waziristan. The real challenge has been to Walk that thin red line between your personal security, the sanctity of the Pakistani state, as well as your personal passion to tell the right story. It's been a very, very difficult story for all of us to tell, whether from mainland Pakistan or whether out in the mountains of Waziristan. Pakistan ke khilaf bahut sare mahaz khule kuch humne khud khole aur kafi sare hamare khilaf khole gaye aaj ka mahaz ikhtilaf ke naam planning ke naam tajurbe ke naam general musharraf ke naam badin ke naam awam ke naam khadim ala ke naam khadim punjab karachi ke naam hukumat ke naam chin ke naam london ke naam Welcome to Washington, D.C. Saudi Arab ke naam. Balochistan ke naam. Gwadar ke naam. Baag Fazaiya ke naam. Boxing ke naam. Aish! Balle Bazi ke naam. Janoon ke naam. Channo ke naam. Heroin ke naam. Mard Hizrat ko, don't you intimidate, man? You Am must. I intimidating you? Never. Baad shor machate hain. I am highly optimistic. Pakistan is behind you, sir. This is India, with a rising economy, a burgeoning middle class, tough politics, and of course, the unstoppable glamour of Bollywood. The issues and the people which define this complex country. Watch 
talk back as it tries to understand the real Hindustan. Watch talk back as it tries to keep an eye on India. They say that winter comes with its surprises. But in Pakistan, you can always expect the unexpected. This winter, Talkback brings you what it's most famous for, asking tough, compelling questions from tough, compelling people.